I have always hated lifting weights. Hi, I'm Ed Zonbrecher. Uh, I retired from coaching college football after 37 years, and I was around people lifting weights. Uh, back when I was playing, I was just kind of getting started. Never really liked doing it, going there and spend an hour and a half and everybody waiting and doing a few reps and standing around again and doing some more. I always like to be more active doing things. And as I got older, I didn't want to get in there and lift all the heavy weights and everything else. And, but I found myself getting stiffer and, and less flexible as I uh, did age. Same thing can happen if, uh, if you're just not active as you used to be. Or sometimes people have never been very active but would like to, to feel like they're in, in a little bit better uh, condition and, and uh, tone to do things a little bit better. This is not to make you really strong. This is not to get you in a contest or, you know, for your muscles and all that kind of stuff. This is a practical way that I have found it helps me and I'd like to share it with you. And it involves some different uh, exercises, uh, different ways of doing the exercise, and they'll all be explained in detail. And then I'll show you how you can do 17 exercises, do 24 reps, of each and do it all in 12 minutes. You'll be huffing and puffing a little bit at the end, but you get it done and you'll be better off, be more flexible over in just a, a very short period of time. A couple of weeks, you'll, you'll notice a big difference. Now we're going to explain how we can get a lot out of this program. Part of it is how you can use entire muscle systems and from different angles instead of just the normal one plane angles when, when you, you're lifting. And that involves rotating the weights and that's why we use dumbbells and light weights because we can put it in all different kinds of positions. So we do an exercise. We're going to do 24 reps of, of most of them. We're going to be doing six exercises. All right. On the seventh, then we're going to rotate the, the hands are faced one of two different directions. The hands are facing away from your body or they're facing each other. All right, so it's going to be one of those two positions. So if we start off, hands facing away, let's say we do six. On the seventh, we're going to rotate the weights till they come into the position opposite, in this case, facing each other. As we go, as we, uh, go back to the original position, we change back to the other. So if we start it high, we rotate here and then back. Rotate, back. All right, again, we're doing six. So 11. On the 12th one, now we just don't rotate back. We just go back. So now the hands that started like this are like this. And then we rotate the other way. Rotate back to the away position. Again, we do six. After six of them, all right, then our hands end up up here, and now we just go straight with them sideways. So we've gone six with them starting here and staying there. We've gone six with them starting here and rotating. On the twelfth one, we end up here, and we do six with the hands facing in, rotating, and six with the hands facing it, not rotating. So we've gone all the different angles that we can that are natural for the arm to use. So whenever we have exercises that are conducive to doing that, we throw those in there. And that might be something that you develop over time. If you get where you're doing the 24 reps first and then you can, you can work into doing it. Or if you want to do the rotations and you can't handle the number of reps now, you know, you can do it in, in uh, different multiples and as long as you can divide it by four, you can do it that many uh, divide. Let's say you do 16 of them divided by four, you're doing four reps of each. So you, you can do that as you begin the, the program. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate. The first exercise is the bench press. All right, on your back, all right, push the, ball, the bars, the uh, bell straight up right there, and then on the you start off in the up position, all right, and then on the sixth or the seventh one, we start rotating. On the twelfth one, we don't rotate back. Then we start down and we're rotating the opposite direction. 
we do our six and we end up with the palms facing in do six like that straight from there we go straight to down to the outside the flies same thing when we we get to after the sixth one the seventh one we turn we rotate it out after the twelfth one and we come straight back in all right then we start 13 we rotate it out all right then after we get to, through the 18th and we go straight down so you can see the pattern is always to go straight with in one direction then we rotate out of that position then we uh, keep the position changed we rotate the other position then we go straight out of the other position all right from the the flies then we go down in the front here you can see we're starting high first thing we do is we bench then we go out we go down in the front and we're doing the same things all right down in the front and then we do the rotations straight up opposite rotations all right then down all right we end up here now we're going to do the triceps same principle all right after six we rotate yeah you have to be careful don't get the ball don't get the barbells down and hit yourself in the head make sure you keep them wide enough so we're doing that then we do the opposite rotations all right excuse me right there and then we do the the downs all right so you end up here now we're going overhead we're reaching back same thing after six we rotate up straight on the 12th one rotate opposite then straight down okay again we started at the top on all of them and we go so we've done 24 of each of those then we're gonna sit on the ball okay and we're gonna do overhead press same thing we do our six all right and then after six then we start rotating down then we go straight up on 12 then we rotate opposite and then the last ones overhead press then we're through with the the ones on the ball now we get rid of the ball we are on our feet get our feet around armpit width apart and we're going to start lifting the weight from a hanging position somewhere down around your uh, thighs all right first we're going to start and we're going to split it into two sections we're going to do side lifts do 12 of those and you can rotate if you want to don't have to rotate on everything do uh, 12 to the side and 12 in the front try to keep your hips in position wherever you are and so you do that if you want to do 24 of each you're you're welcome to when I'm using my full heavy weight that are usually heavier than this it's harder for me to to do those and I, they make me uh, strain too much all right so you do those and then I do curls all right so the weights are hanging down but now your your palms are going to be facing out to start with all right so you curl and you make sure you you finish as far as you can ease them down pop it up ease down when you're lifting weights you like to anything going up you explode and then you ease it on down as much as possible so you do the curls and it's the same now you can do the twists because these are really good for doing the twist you do your sixth and the seventh you twist it after the twelfth when you go straight down then you twist the other way and then you, f you finish uh, 18 and then this one I usually get my elbows out but you see I try to keep my elbows in position and my hips still while I'm doing it to really isolate the muscles in the biceps after I do the mice the biceps then I do a three-way exercise where we're gonna do a toe raise a shoulder shrug and then one wrist exercise or the other we'll start off with the wrist going up outside then we're going to go up inside we're going to go forward then back so you just just rotate and the other things just keep going the the toe raise and the shoulder shrug just keep going 
So you're doing six of those. Then we're going to go six of these inside, six of these, and six of these. All right, so that's your, your 24 doing a, a three-way deal. So that's three different exercises that you're doing. Okay. All right, now we're going to bend over and do some rows. And it's just like the, the side lift and the front lift. We're going to do 12 of each. So we're, we're down here, lift them out, extended, do 12 of those, and then we're going to do 12 with the elbows in tight. All right, so you work different things. You try to work your shoulder blades toward each other as you're lifting and doing those. All right, now we're going to start incorporating a little bit more specifically for the lower body, letting the weights hang, and I'm going to do this one sideways. All right. All right, shoulders back and now, and I'm going to bend over with my knees slightly bent, bend over like you're touching your toes, and then lift up, and you're using your lower back. Your hamstrings are going to get work also, but you're down, back up, down, and back up. And as you move along, you try to get a little bit farther. You know, start off kind of just nice and easy, and then you work it down a little bit more, and at the end, You'll be getting down stretching out pretty well. So I do 24 of those. Don't have to worry about twists. All right. Then I do some uh, side exercises. Down on each side, that's one, two, three, four. So you're working your side and your shoulders working sideways, etc. I do 24 of those. And then we finish off the, the base exercises with the squat. So Keep your, keep your eyes up, squat down. I try to keep track of where the barbells are. I just kind of tap the side of my legs. So I do six, and then the next six I get a little bit lower. Next six I get a little bit lower. Last six, I'm about parallel. And so that gets you a lot of good work through your lower body. Thighs, hamstrings, a lot of different things working there. Good exercise overall. You can get all of that done, 12 minutes. Now, a bonus thing to the lifting, my, my dad had a, something I found in his closet. It had a spring in the middle and two handles and something you could shake and, you know, one of those things is supposed to, to help. I don't know if it really helps or not, but I've, I've used it and I've lost several inches in the waist and stuff, so maybe I'm shaking stuff off. I'm not sure. But you, you take the dumbbell and hold it on either side if you don't have one of those things with the, the handles. I don't know what you call them. And... I hold it, you know, about chest high, right around the shoulders, and you do set real quick sets of four for 24 reps. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. Like that. You go up to 24 right there. Then you do the same thing down here about the belly button. And you can see how things shake a lot while you're doing it. All right. Then you hold it upright and you do it in the middle. Again, I don't know if it really works or not, but I think it does, so I'm going to keep doing it. I like to, to get some ab work in. Sometimes I do this so even before to kind of get the blood flowing. I just do two quick ab exercises. One of them is just crunches, 24, just do crunches up, and I don't even do full crunches. And then I do some little bouncing ab exercises that I'm bouncing across the ball at different angles and a counterbalance with my hands. It's kind of hard to describe, but you'll see as I'm doing them. So I do the crunches, kind of normal. Then I do my little bouncy. You work all the way across the spectrum of the abs as you're doing that. And so you do that 24 times, counts of four. After you get through with all the lifting, I like to do some kicks that uh, work the leg muscles. Again, trying to get some more. It's, it's hard without a lot of equipment to do a lot of leg exercises other than just go run and walk and stuff. But what I, I work on is kicking in the front, trying to get the knee at least hip high, and get the toe pointing up in the front right there. It's not, you're not kicking out here. You're just lifting. So working on the leg. And then at the, in the back, when you kick up, you just try to 
get the toe coming up and you keep the, the leg. You don't want the leg to go way back here because now you really start putting pressure on your back. You don't want to get a back injury. So the exercise here, 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 here. Now, to really make it uh, a little bit extra, I like to use the off arm as a counterbalance. And it really takes some stress off and it makes it a lot easier to do. So I'm here. Kick that toe up in the back as much as I can. All right, then I do 24 of those, then I turn around. Oops. Right there, do 24 of those. Then I get in the, the front and I do the same thing to the side. I kick out to the side and with my toe kind of pointing out. And then when it comes across here, the hand comes, instead of going up and down, it goes across and back. It, it, it counterbalances really well. So you do that and you do 24 of those. All right, after we do that, then I like to do some stretches when I'm standing up. I like to start off stretching the Achilles right here. All right, one leg at a time, bend over, try to keep the back straight, keep the heel on the ground. You know, get this other foot up here to take the pressure off. You know, you don't want too much weight and you don't want to lose balance. You do it, you, you get better and more flexible as you do it. Do it with each leg, do about a 10 second stretch on each side. Then I like to do both legs together, feet about a foot apart. And then I like to sway my hips back and forth a little bit and you feel the muscles in your calves stretching at different angles. You can see it kind of ripple across back there. So it's, uh, you can tell it's doing it in different ways. All right, then I get a good stretch. Do a groin stretch. Try to keep the knee over the foot. Don't get it outside. Right there, you feel the stretch right here, bent over. Then the other side, 10 seconds. While you're down there, then while you got it out wide, then I want you to start going down, kind of bounce it a little bit, just nice and easy. Each time you bounce, try to get a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower till you touch the ground, do a 10 count. All right, then get your body upright. Now you stretch again. It's a little bit different now. The angles are a little bit different on the muscles. 10 count each way. Now when you want to get your, your hamstring stretch, you got to bring your feet together to get a different angle. So you're here, you bend over. To get lower, you bend your knees and drop down a little bit and try to and straighten your legs out and try to keep your hands where they are. Then a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. You keep wor working down, you do 10 of those and it gets you on down there. Then we want to stretch the quads out. So we're here. Try to bring them up to your heel, your heel up to your your butt, right there. Do it on both sides. Stretching it out. Okay. Then find something pretty stable, a, a chair or whatever. First, I my feet together. Reach down to stretch the, the hamstrings out. And I like to do a little squat. It doesn't take that much. See right here, just stretch out lower back. And that's the finish of the stand-up stretches. You get on the ground, I can do some other stretches. All right, bring your knees up. Stretch your lower back again. All right, then you stretch things out. Keep your, your legs pulled up and then slowly lower your legs while pulling out, getting a groin stretch at different angles. All right, then Lift the leg, point down and up twice, and move the leg down and up, 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 down and up. Do 10 of those with each leg. And just keep stretching it a little bit more each time. 
go to where it's you know comfortably tight to start and then just keep working keep your hips on the ground as you go there's lots of different stretches that you can do some of them are individualized another one that I do like to do straight leg you cross the other leg over you you pull the knee with the opposite arm right there and twist your body away this is good to stretch the sciatic nerve so straight leg cross over the other leg opposite hand pull it turn away really you can feel the stretch on both sides all right now we're going to do the workout I'm going to start off and I'm going to do the workout the the basic lifting workout front to back in a row and I will be voicing over and talking I'm going to be breathing too hard to do it when we're we're doing it live so I'm going to voice over and count for you and everything else so when after you've learned the the basic exercises and stuff then you can just go to the index and go straight to the workout and do it at without with me counting and trying to help you along telling you when to twist and, and when to turn if you're not doing the twist and turn you just keep counting and I'll keep the the count going and then I'll do the same thing with the other uh, supplementary things and so you can do that those uh, parts of the workout also so this you've seen the the practice stuff you can always go back and and listen to how to do it but now we're gonna actually do it in real time all right we're gonna do the ab work 24 crunches hold your Ab muscles in as you do them. Keep your waist, lower back area centered on the ball so it's always supported. Now we're doing our bouncing four counts each way, 24 reps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep the rhythm going. Hold your abs in as you do it. Turn those hips. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Now it's time to get started. Lifting, get it up high, down. One, two, three. Hold your gut in. Five, six. Now we're going to twist. Eight, nine, 10. All right, don't twist it back when you come back up. Straight up. All right, twist out. Twist out. One more. Now straight down. Keep your gut in. Keep your gut in. Slow down. Explode up. Out. After this one. Now we're going out. four, five, six, now we're going to twist, nine, ten, eleven, keep it straight back on the return, twist out, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, all right, straight out. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Now we're going down in the front. Four, five, six. Now we're going to twist. Eight. Nine, ten, 
11, 12, straight back up. Twist the other way. 15, 16, 17, 18, no more twists, straight down. 21, 23, 24, triceps. Keeping the elbows in place. Five, six, now we're gonna twist. Eleven, twelve, no twist back up. We're twisting the other way. Okay, we're straight back now. Three, over your head. Over your head. Twist it back. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. No twist back. All right, twist it out. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, no more twist, 21, 22, 23, 24, now we're going to sit up, push, push them up, drop them down, 1, 6, twist it, 10, 11, 12, straight up, 1, 2, 15, 16, 17, 18, no more twist, 9, we're through with the ball for right now, side lifts first, do 12 to the side and 12 to the front. Six. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Go to the front. Do 12. Try to keep your hips still. Hold your gut in. Now we're doing curls. Force the to the top. Five, six. I missed a twist by one. Here we go. Straight up. Turn it in. Three, twenty-four. All right. Now we'll go bent over row with extending the arms. Four, five, six. Doing twelve of them. Eight, ten, eleven, twelve. In tight. Elbows. Bring those shoulder blades together. Six, seven, eight. All right, now we're gonna bend over. We're touching the toes. Stand up, throw the shoulders back. Keep the knees slightly bent. Four. Six. Every six, try to get a little bit lower. Ten, 
10, 11, 12, a little bit lower. Fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, a little lower. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Side, side lifts, shoulder lifts. Four of them. Working the muscles on the side, a little bit with the shoulders. Arms hanging the side. Keep your abs pulled in. Squats. Feel on the side of the leg where you're going to. Do six of them and take it down farther. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Down a little more. 16, 17, 18, down. 21, 22, 23. And you're done. Ready to do our shake exercises, feet armpit width apart. Shake, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, three, four. Counting up to 24. Chest high. Quick shakes. Down low at the belly button, same thing, to 24. Go quick. Hold your gut in as you do it. Get ready, we're gonna go up in the middle when you're finished. Hand it up, straight up and down, two hands on it. Real quick. Now we're going to do 24 kicks, right knee up, one, two, three, four, five, six, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, knee up, toe up in the back, knee up, toe up in the back, off arm, going the opposite. Switching over, other foot, left knee up, right arm moving. Seven. 10, 11, 12, 13. Eighteen. Cross the body now, right leg, arm going opposite way. Six. 10. 15. 20. That toe back and forth. All 
All right, now we're going to stretch the Achilles. Right leg back, keep your spine straight. 10 count. Switch legs. We're going to switch to two legs. That's 12 inches apart. Sway the hips back and forth. From one foot to the other. 10 times. Now we're going to spread our legs out. Groin stretch down to the right. Knee over your ankle. 10 count. To the other side, 10 count. We'll slide down in the middle. Bounce down, nice and easy. Don't want to go too fast. 10 times, keep trying to get a little bit further. Get down there, start scraping the ground. Upright. Now stretching the groin out. Other side. Feet armpit width apart, shoulder width apart. And now we go down, bend the knees, lower down a little bit. Bend the knees, pop them back. Bend the knees, pop them back. Try to keep getting lower and lower. Ten reps there. All right. Now we're going to stretch the quads out. Balance yourself, pull the pull your heel up to your butt. Ten count. Switch to the other leg. All right, feet together, hamstring stretch. All right. Feet together, squat down, stretch out your lower back. Then we're going to roll onto the ground. All right, one leg out, right leg out, cross the left leg over, grab the knee, pull it, turn your body away from it. Ten count, switch legs, pull your right knee over your left, turn your body away. Roll onto your back, pull your knees up, stretch your lower back, now spread out your legs, hold, pull them down, slowly lower your legs, keeping the pressure, stretch the groin, all right, one leg up, toe up and down twice, and keep trying to reach it further and further, straight up, 10 repetitions. Every time you move it a little bit closer, up and down, get that range of motion. Switch legs. Now go get you something good to drink. I hope in this video we explained in enough detail that you can understand what we're trying to do and how you can get it done. There is one important thing that has to be done though. You have to get up and do the exercises. You know, it doesn't, doesn't do any good to know it, to do it once a week. It would help some, but it's not going to be as good as if you do it three times a week. Don't do it two days in a row. Space it out. You're, you know, you might experience a little initial soreness and stuff like that. And you can get a little bit heavier on the weights as you go if you'd like. But that's not the important thing. The big thing is to get the movement with a little bit of resistance going and to let your muscles be more flexible. They can maneuver around easier and you don't get the soreness. If you have any questions, you can contact me at ezqbcoach.com. I appreciate you watching the video.